Hey, what's up guys? Eric740T with Eric's RC channel. I just kind of wanted to show you my new setup. I know I've changed it like 50 times on my Turner HAL quadcopter. Uh, but this is pretty much my finished format. I don't think I'm going to change this quadcopter a whole lot more, except for, you know, uh, maintenance and if something needs replacing, like uh, say ESC or motor or something like that. Um, so this is this was the, the Turner HAL quad frame. And I actually added two more um, two more layers here. These were parts from the HAL quad that I, I mean the uh, X580 quad that I had extra because I had bought two frames, so they were brand new. I just used some nylon uh, mounts, nylon nuts. So I got this is the front. Um, I think I might put a. I'm gonna put a. There, I'm, I'm gonna mod something else. I'm gonna put probably a. One of those Turning G9X backlight kits somewhere on here for a little bit better visual at night. Maybe one on the side or a couple of one on both sides or one on the bottom or something. I'm not sure yet. But I got the NASA um, MV2 set up now, which uh, I love it. I mean, I'd recommend it to anybody. And there's the, the NASA flight controller right in there. It's underneath. It's on the second. Uh, actually, it's on one, two. It's on the third plate up. I have the uh, still running the Fat, Fat Shark uh, 600 milliwatt 5.8 gigahertz immersion RC setup. No complaints with that system at all. The uh, Easy OSD from Immersion RS RC. Uh, this is a great OSD. I love it. Um, everything is very accurate. The GPS is very accurate. The Nasa GPS is extremely accurate. Extremely. Um, I'm running the Orange RX. DSMX receiver. It's an eight channel. Granted, I only have a DX7S, so it's not going to be. I'm not going to be using the full eight, but I have an extra port if I need something for power or something like that. Um, I'm running long antenna satellites, two of them, one here, and my main receiver here, and my other satellite is somewhere. Where is it? That's weird. I definitely have two satellites. Oh, there it is. It's hidden. It's up underneath the uh, Easy OSD uh, power management unit, which also powers the FPV gear. Um, I have the GoPro mount currently right here, and I'm probably going to mount the little um, Fat Shark camera here for FPV as well. And I'm going to rig up a little switch to where I can flip to the the mini camera, in case I have another failure with the GoPro or anything like that, um, that would... It's not catastrophic anymore, because now I have a working return to home. I can just flip it or turn the radio off, and it'll come back and land. No issues there, and it makes me a lot more comfortable with flying further. I didn't really want to push the limits of the range, but I probably will now. Um, this is the little cable I made for the GoPro to get the live FPV uh, video feed to the OSD and it sends it to the, it just runs through the OSD and then runs into the video transmitter. Um, other than that, I'm still using the same old 30 amp uh, BECs. Uh, they're a Hobby King, just the blue ones. They're really cheap, like $10 a piece. I, I really, really like the, the NTM 2830S now, now that I've used it a lot. It's an awesome motor. I mean, they're just so much better than the aero drives in almost every way. Aero drive would be better for a slightly smaller quadcopter with less weight. They're the 900 kVs. Uh, 11 by 5 props currently. I'm going to put some 13 by 13 by 4s on there pretty soon. Uh, obviously the GoPro case. And that's about it, guys. Um, got my LED for the NASA mounted here. You can see the the NASA little CAN bus stuff here, and it hooks up to my DIY power distribution kind of board slash washers um, in the middle there, and it runs into it runs into my power distribution, the Easy OSD, and that gives the voltage uh, signal how much voltage is available and how much is currently being drawn to the OSD, and then it runs. To the from the battery into here, then from the from here out to the rest of the system, and I can't really say enough about the NASA. 
this GPS module is exceptional and the whole system itself, the, the way it flies, the, the easeability of tuning, um, I have nothing but praise for this NASA system. And that's about it for the video guys. Um, just wanted to give you a little view of my quadcopter. I got it as straight as I can, I just got so much different things on here. And I'm going to have even more when I eventually go to the, what is it, the H HD3 Zenmuse uh, gimbal, which the NASA can control that as well. So I am going to add a little more later on, but for the most part, I'm going to add the gimbal and I'm going to add the 13-inch uh, props and see how those fly. And that, that'll be about it for this quadcopter, I think. I don't use the dome because it, it confines you too much. And I just like, uh, I like the HAL without the dome. You can just take the dome and put it somewhere. I don't really like the dome. It's a good idea. It protects everything, but it at the same time, it really confines you to... It limits you so much that I just decided not to use the dome whatsoever. Um, Alright guys, I'm going to do... Now that I got the return to home function running, I'm going to do a range test for real, a real range test, and I'm going to go to where this Immersion RC 600 milliwatt can no longer provide me any video feed. I'm going to keep going and going either until that gives out or my radio signal gives out and then I'm just going to flip return to home if either one of the things happens. Um, Alright, well that's about it guys. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't and look forward to some future videos of testing the real range of the system. I'll even, uh, I'm going to use my little Hobby King DVR and I'll even uh, record it with the I'll put the video up. It's not going to be the best quality because the DVR degrades it. My the DVR is not the best quality. It's the Hobby King Mini DVR, um, but it will show the OSD information. So that'll give you a good idea of exactly what's going on with the quadcopter at the time. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.